<laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to get at least two tickets from every teammate. I could probably bring the whole city out to this game. <laughs> so. Yeah, Team Florida. Yeah. Uh, so I played uh, AAU basketball when I was in middle school, and that was the name of the team. So that's just been me since then. That's where that comes from. Um, the first six games, one thing I definitely say, what I've learned is that, you know, we play hard. I think we're a hard playing offensive line. You know, we play through the whistle. A lot of us are playing a lot of snaps. Um, but a big thing I, I think we're doing really well is protecting the quarterback. I think we've really protected the quarterback well this year. Um, we, we, we obviously got areas to improve in, especially in the run game with technique and stuff. But I think we're doing that. Uh, we're attacking practice with the right mindset every day. And I think we're, we're more hungry as we're getting into this part of the season. You know what I'm saying? So just continue to improve on, on how hungry we are to, to improve and stuff like that. I think we'll be good. Hey, Coach Riley was saying, you know, just overall offense, obviously without this line too, just being consistent. You kind of said it was a word to use. Um, but there's inconsistency with you think or some of the things. That, um, yeah, I think sometimes it, it's where it's just like, it just be like one guy, you know, and we'll have 10 guys doing the right thing or f four guys doing the right thing. And then there's one guy every here and there is just messing up. So I think, you know, from play to play, especially on the things that we do normally play to play, I think we need to be a little bit more sharp on that. Um, and that's just details. That's something that we've really been focusing on, especially with this bye week and having that time to evaluate and, you know, take time to work on the things that we, the basics of the game and what we do each week. I think we really needed to, um, Really focusing on that this past pie week because yeah that was something that we weren't doing is we weren't doing as consistently enough was doing the basic things the routine things that we do every game every day in practice like we just needed to be more sharp on those things and that's what we've been doing in practice this week. Is that just identifying the right person to block or is that having continuity in terms of where you have to be on that block? Um, yeah, I think it's just continuity. I think everybody knows the job that we're doing. It's nothing of the sort where it's like you know we don't know what we're doing. It's just you know sometimes. Someone just has a mishap, so we just got to clean that up, it, whether it's technique or whatever, you know. Think, you don't think new concepts uh, with a new offense are part of it, just sort of the mastery of that and the processes? Um, no, nah, not at all. I think we, we got the offense down pretty much by the summertime, and then, you know, going into fall camp, you know, we got it down. And, you know, we, we do our routine things well. That's something that, you know, we try to do on our offense, that's something that we try to focus on is we're not trying to do too many other things that we don't do every day. Like we try to, in the game, we're playing the plays that, you know, we practice consistently. So, you know, um, I think, you know, sometimes it's just people, we just, we weren't executing at the level that we're supposed to, and we just got to sharpen that up. The GC counters and fulls are such a big part of this offense. What's your overall evaluation of that? I mean, you're, you're often one of the guys who's, who's doing it. So what's your... I mean, personally, I love it. I love the pool. I think, you know, just getting, allowing me to use my athleticism is a huge plus for our team, um, especially getting in space anytime when I am pulling, having that opportunity is just fun for me. I think also with, you know, our two left tackles, they're, they're fast dudes, they're athletic dudes, and I think it just works um, well when we're pulling around and we get to show off athleticism, stuff like that. How, what about the sort of the consistency of that and the, the, the everything sort of working in sync? Mm -hmm. How do you, what's your evaluation of that? I think it, it goes down, it goes back to what I think Coach Riley was saying, like, you know, doing the routine things right. And we work that play all the time. And, you know, when you focus on something to the level that we focus it on, I think you should execute at the level that we're executing it at right now. I think we're at like seven yards, 7.5 yards of carry on that. Like, you know, we're doing that really well. So I think the practice and the focus that we have on that play, since it's a routine play that we do, I think it's really, you know, paid off for us. Marcus. Uh what, how would you say that Cade has sort of progressed since this season started? Uh, I would just say, like, just, you know, I feel like at times, you know, you would see, you know, I think a lot of young QBs go through, they get rattled a little early and it kind of shakes them off. And I think he, literally game by game, he's gotten better at that. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's just continued to stay there, stay poised. I think, you know, he makes a lot of exceptional plays that, you know, you're just not seeing everybody make. And you know he's just he's improving each game, and that's that's one thing like you you can you got to appreciate a, a player that does that is being coachable game to game, and he's just done that every game, just improving his confidence in what he's doing, trusting that he's what he sees is what's right, and he's just been doing that at a high level. I feel like. And then um, for you personally, I know you know that Clemson has quite a history of really outstanding players from Florida. Um, what what attracted you to to Clemson? You know. 
know, what, with the other obviously great options in the Sunshine State that you would have had? Yeah, so for me, I think it was just I needed a change of culture. You know, um, when you go down there, it's a lot of city life and a lot of people. And I think for me, I was just looking for something different, something that I wasn't used to just so I could get exposed to it, have a different perspective of life. But also just a, a place where, you know, I could focus because it's, it's hard to focus in in the city at times, you know, because there's a lot of things going on, there's a lot of things to do, especially as a 20 year old. So I think for here, for me to come here, it was a place where I know I could focus on because it's not, you know, too much, you know, in Clemson compared to where I'm from and just allowing to focus on my work, focus on my schoolwork and just working hard every day. Kind of looking at Saturday's game as a, <clears throat> an elimination game. Both teams, you know, a couple of losses now. The winner still has a shot. And, you know, who knows what's going to happen. The loser, it's probably over. You know, do you, can you guys, do you guys kind of look at it that way as, as man, this has got to be it. This has got to be our best shot. I know you think that way every week, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's true heading into this week. Yeah, so, I mean, I think one thing that Coach Sweeney's always been about us is that we have to attack every week. Is like I said, even if we were undefeated, I think we'd still play the game the same way. Even if we even if we were already eliminated, I think we still play the game the same way. You know, it's a one-game season for us. Uh, we just got to focus on winning this game. No other, no other game is important other than the one that we're playing this week. Um, I mean, and I know for me, like, this is a big game, nonetheless, because I'm going home and I'm playing Miami and stuff like that, especially since last year, you know, I got hurt in the first drive. So, you know, I just want to get out there. I think we all just want to get out there and play our best game, especially for the slow start that we had on offense last week. Um, I think we just want to, you know, get back on the right side of the ball and everything. Um, I mean, coming out of high school, yeah, they had a, they had a good shot, but I mean, I think I was just looking for something different coming out of high school, and that was just, you know, I was all in at that point once I committed here. So. You talked about the running game. In particular, last game against Wake, it was a little bit of a struggle in the first half. The second half, you guys really exploded that way. I think Coach Riley said maybe there were some adjustments, and you guys, you know, took those in and were able to execute. So that was encouraging. Mm -hmm. What was the difference between the first and second? Um, I think, you know, um, just I think maybe the mindset that we came out there with, we just we got to be more sharp on that. But mainly, I think we were just executed higher. You know, we weren't really doing much different in the uh, second half that we were doing in the first half. We just executed better in the second half. And, you know, we, they got into us at halftime and we responded. And I feel like that was the difference, that we just responded to what was going on. It wasn't really a change in the game plan too much, you know. So you look at it, it's not what defenses are doing to you guys. It's really just yeah, so I mean, you know, um, I think a lot of teams are starting to like try to stop the run when we're playing them. I, I, Syracuse really honed in on that, and you know, um, Wake started, you know, bringing f uh, boundary blitzes, field blitzes all the time against the run. It wasn't even again when we were passing the ball. So, you know, I think a lot of teams are trying to key in on when we're running the ball, but um, I think we just were executing at a higher level in the second half, and that was the major difference. Mm -hmm. uh, Harris Sewell is not getting more snaps and right guard. Um, do you see any similarities between him and you and stuff? If he's kind of learning this learning curve, or is he different in any ways from where you were? I mean, I, honestly, like, he, he's doing his thing. I think he's at a, a much more mature spot than I was coming as a freshman. I know, obviously, I wasn't trying enough to play, but, like, you know, he really gets it. He, I think from a guard standpoint, playing that position, he's probably more ahead of me than I was playing guard at my freshman year. So I think that's good for him. You know, he has putt right next to him, so it allows him to slow things down with him and Blake next to him, two good dudes, you know, right next to him. So I think he's just, you know, trying to take every moment. He plays hard. You know, he has a good technique, and I think he's going to continue to progress as he gets more reps and gain more confidence. Confidence to be out there and be a solid player for us. Talk about finishing guys or something that you feel like you're doing better as an offensive line, and how much is that a trait that Harris has in terms of finishing? I mean, I think he just hones it from all of us. You know, we worked that in practice. Um, you know, he's an aggressive dude. He he, and one thing, he, you know, he takes serious in doing his job. Like you know, some dudes, they, they're just trying to you know be out there and play the game. But like, it, it's something important to him. He cares about every play. And, and you know, sometimes you know it, it probably ling it probably linger a little too long on him after a bad play. But you know, that's what every young guy goes through. But you know, he's he's a real solid dude. He's really mature. He listens, and I think he's getting better each play each week. And I've seen an improvement just from Syracuse to Wake Forest. So, any questions for Marcus from Zoom? Difficult is it to be on the same page when it's you know, Tristan coming in or Colin coming in? Is it more difficult or 
challenging anyway, or is it? Well, I definitely think it's a challenge just because, you know, you want to have that continuity as an offensive line and, you know, how, uh, be able to know what your player is doing right next to you without having to really pay attention to what he's doing. But I think for me, like, I took it as a challenge at the beginning of the season. Like, I know this is probably what it's going to be. Um, and I really just watched what Tristan and Colin and how they play the game. So, you know, I just tried to adjust to how they play and just make sure that, you know, what I'm doing co lines with what they're doing. And just I have to realize, like, all right, he's next to me. This is how he's going to play the game. So, you know, to just make sure that I, I'm adjusting to that, you know. And I, I've done a good job. I'm really close with both of them. I'm talking to them weekly. You know what I'm saying? I, I get a lot of reps with both of them during the week. So, I mean, it hasn't been a, a challenge. I mean, it hasn't been super hard so far, but it definitely was a challenge getting used to because, you know, I'm not playing against this, next to the same guy every drive. Um, I think just like their tangibles and like you know um, their speed and the way that they use, the way that they play like you know Trish, uh, Tristan is really long and uses his length a lot of the time and the way he sets is a little different than the way Colin sets so you do I just gotta you know pay attention to his game and that's also me knowing football and understanding like all right like he's these things are gonna happen to him because he plays this way so I know like you know if I have to adjust to that this is what I gotta do for this guy you know what I'm saying so. I've just been trying to really key in on that big thing with them. It's just like, you know, they have to trust that, you know, they know what they're doing, and they're doing that a lot better now, so for sure. Anyone else for Marcus? All right, Marcus. Appreciate you, man. All right, thank you. Y'all have a good day.